You know, if you've been married for 10, 20, 30 years, when you remember the first time you met as friends, wasn't that the most beautiful time? It was the only time you never fought or argued. <laughs> Normally, fighting happens after honeymoon. <laughs> Friendship is always beautiful. Friendship is always beautiful. And since I spoke about friendship, especially to the young ones, my sons and daughters, don't have too many friends. Maximum, maximum, maximum three. The healthiest, one. A little bit more healthy, not bad, two. Three, pushing it, four, five, six, ten. Trouble, trouble, 100% trouble. You have 10, 20 friends, you'll never stop arguing. But if you find a friend, one, maximum two, and they are, they talk like you, think like you, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. You never argue. You share the same thing, same ideas, same perception. It's beautiful, my beloved. So, um, mm. a friend, a true friend is closer to your brother, to yourself. A true friend is closer than your own brother. When you find a true friend, don't give up on them. His name is Jesus. He's your true friend. Amen. Amen. So when you go to your friend Jesus, say, G'day, mate. Since you're an Aussie, well, I'm going to talk to you like an Aussie. You're down. Let's put the prawns on the barbie. I had a Barney with me, boss, the other day. And the little guy gave me the bullet. Before I, before I met you, my boss was Satan. So he gave me the bullet since he realized you're my friend now. And boy, was I glad when he gave me the bullet. It was the best bullet I ever received. I got no bread. Got to put the bite on you, mate. And the Lord says, I am the bread that descended from heaven. I am the living bread that descended from heaven. He who eats me lives in me forever. Amen. Amen. All right, that's it. Thank you very much. Are you cold? Must be me. I said that twice. <laughs> um, Sometimes when you see me wonder for a few seconds, uh, don't be startled. I'm just trying to think of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> a skinny guy said to the <laughs> um, There was a joke that was mentioned to me the other day. Man, I forgot it. You have a question? Hmm? He's got a question. Shall I say your name? <laughs> Speaking of jokes, I just got one. All right, I'll, I, I thought it was funny, but I'll, I'll share it with you. Two men were talking about their wives. The first one said, my wife is an angel. The second man said, you are lucky, mine is still alive. <laughs> I wish she was an angel so she can fly up there and leave me alone. <laughs> oh my goodness what is this wife? poor wives you, you, 
I'm going to back you up, wives, don't worry, I'm, uh, I'm going to take your side. You're being bashed here. Two wives were talking. <laughs> Two wives were talking to each other. The first one said, my husband is an angel. The other wife said, you're lucky, mine is still alive. <laughs> there you go. We're even now. Um, that's a good question. Uh, we pay for our sin. Oh, yeah. You see, what I meant... Now, the, the, yeah, the Lord Jesus is the one who pays for our sins, but what we need to pay for is the consequences of the sins we committed. I'll give you an example. Um, and that is on earth. So, like, I have to go through some suffering. I have to go through some suffering because I made the mistake. So the Lord paid for the mistake... But the outcome of that mistake, there was a damage made. And that damage, I still have to suffer on earth. And that's why the Lord Jesus said, you know, try as much as you can not to do it. Because if you do it, you're going to have to pay, like you're going to have to go through some difficult times on earth for it. See, like when I'm driving and I hit another vehicle, I'll come out and I say, I'm sorry. But I still have to pay for the damage. Now... The Lord, what he paid for, he paid for my sins so that heaven is made possible for me. If, if my sins are not, are not paid for, I can't enter heaven. Sinners cannot enter heaven, period. So the blood of the Lamb of God was to wipe my debt, wipe my sin, so that heaven is made possible for me to enter. But what I did on earth... I, through my sins, maybe I hurt people, I done some damage, then I'll have to also suffer for those consequences that I have been through and, and done. Yes? But heaven is guaranteed. But on earth, I still have to suffer. Yes? I still have to suffer. But what Christ has paid for was for heaven to be made possible for me to enter. My sin was washed, but what I did... I caused the damage, then I have to also suffer for that damage. Compensation? Uh, something like that. You can say like compensate for it. Yeah, correct. But, but the Lord paid the price so that heaven is made possible. So that heaven is made possible. But um, I've hurt somebody, somebody will come and hurt me because that is the law. Yeah? That is the law. So that's why... Um, paying the debt doesn't mean that I'm not going to suffer. I will still suffer. But what Christ has done on Calvary on the cross, heaven is mine now. I'm going to enter heaven because my sin was cleansed. The debt was paid. Yep. Thank you. No problem.